Bonjour everyone, I'm Marlous, a Dutch business owner, and I moved to Burgundy in France in 2019 with my family. And on my channel, I share our slow and simple life here in the French countryside. I talk about brocante, cooking, beautiful places to visit in our region and other parts of France. And every now and then, I do a home tour in which I take you to a gorgeous French house. And I'm happy to share another one of those beautiful houses with you in this video. this stormy and rainy day in November, I'm taking you to the Charente region in the southwest of France. At about an hour drive north of Bordeaux, Amandine and Julien bought this country house for their family in 2021 and turned it into a gorgeous, I feel, picture-perfect French country home. We met just a little after that online on Instagram when they contacted me to come do a shoot of our house for the magazines that they work for. They're a photographer and a journalist and they shoot the most amazing interiors that are published in many of the well-known magazines worldwide. They wanted to create a cozy holiday home for their family of four where they could relax after a busy week in the city of Bordeaux where they live, or after all of their travels they do to photograph beautiful homes. And they also rent it to guests when they're not there themselves. Allez, c'est parti Welcome, uh, Marlouz, at uh, Maison du Clocher. Merci. Welcome. We are Thank you. to welcome you. And we're entering like straight away in the most beautiful country kitchen oh, I've seen, honestly. So and we you. were already having tea. And oh, that's that's called what? Canelé Bordelais? Canelé. Yes, exactly. Yes. What, yes. Explain what it is. Le canelé, c'est une pâtisserie, une spécialité bordelaise uh, assez simple. C'est de la pâte à crêpes avec un peu de rhum. Oui, il y a de l'alcool dedans. Qui est cuit dans des, des espèces de, 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 de petits euh, moules, moules en cuivre oui. euh, très particuliers ah, yeah. et euh, qui sont un peu brûlés. C'est un peu la spécificité, c'est que c'est un peu craquant et très mou à l'intérieur. Oui, c'est ça. C'est très bon. Oui, je sais. Nous avons juste eu ça. C'est la spécialité de cette région. Donc, nous sommes à peu près une heure de Bordeaux. Oui, exactement. Et dans votre famille, Holiday home, this is. Yes. You saw this had good bones, as we say. They bought the house from a local builder who had already done the major structural work of the home. They don't really know what it was before, but they think it might have been a winemaker's cuvry, or it was used at least for producing wine in this region. So it wasn't originally a home, but the previous owner had already made sure that they had the permits to turn this into a home and had done the major works to convert it into a home. However, it wasn't at all their style. They wanted to keep as many of the original features as they possibly could, which means they wanted to leave all the stone walls exposed and try to save the gorgeous original floors that were here. They did paint all the beams white because the previous owner, who was a professional builder, had sourced local pine wood to create a floor in the open space that this was before. But it wasn't really beautiful old beams, so they decided to paint them white, also to make the space look larger and higher. The base of the kitchen is IKEA cabinetry, and they sourced really nice vintage-looking little doorknobs 
And the countertop is made from two big planks that Julien found in the grange and that they had a carpenter turn into this gorgeous countertop. But the brackets is nice. I never, I, I could have thought of yeah. that. To put the brackets like this and then you can style it like this. You hardly see them, but then you still have this effect that there's Why? no brackets underneath. Mm -hmm. yeah. For the backsplash, they chose original Moroccan glazed zelly tiles and I really liked the light fixtures they had. Amandine found these online on a website called Celancy, where you can buy all kinds of brocante items. And they had them rewired by an electrician and actually chose a wire that is green. You hardly notice, but it's these kind of details, I think, that really make this kitchen look so inviting and cohesive, even though there are so many little details in there. Donc on voulait quand même ajouter quelques touches plus contemporaines, mais en restant dans de l'artisanat. Et là, c'est du papier mâché. Et ce sont un couple d'amis créateurs qui vivent en, dans le Périgord, qui ont une jolie maison dans le Périgord qui s'appelle Anne et Romain. Donc leur, leur création, c'est Roman. Et ce sont donc eux qui créent leur, les luminaires en papier mâché. Donc... Next to all the brocante and vintage items, they wanted to bring in some modern pieces, but still stay away from the big mass production stuff. And this lamp was made by a befriended couple out of papier mâché. We talked about this. We talked about this little picture because obviously I love this, you love this, but then you, because you're French, and you said the French will find it like cheap, like oh my grandma had that in her home. I think that for many Français, these objects appartenaient to our grandmères, arrière grandmères, sont pas forcément des symboles de progrès. I think that it's assez ancien. They're assez jolies with their la petite coupelle qui est festonnée. Quoi, c'est assez délicat. Et ça vient, je ne sais pas si tu arrives à voir quelque chose. Euh, mon, ma famille maternelle était du Berry. Ah, ok. Donc, voilà. Donc, ça doit être de, de, la, de cette famille-là. Ça aussi, cette famille, c'est, je pense, une timbale un peu de, de baptême. C'est assez joli. Ah oui. C'est beau. Ça, c'est un... J'adore ce livre euh, avec, sur la Villa d'Adrien qui appartenait à un de mes grands-oncles, qui était architecte paysagiste. Amandine and Julien filled their home with many items and pieces that have been in their family for a long time. A lot of the dishware was her grandma's or her great grandma's, some furniture pieces as well, and she even has paintings that depict her grandmother, I think, or great grandmother. And she also finds many brocante pieces at local brocante sellers, ressourcerie, and brocante affairs. Brocante belu. Et donc, on trouve beaucoup de. Oui, de magnifique, ça. On trouve beaucoup de jolis plats à des prix euh, vraiment très accessibles. Ouais. Je me permets Oui, vas-y. Ouais, mais ça, c'est magnifique. Amandine found this cabinet at an online brocante and she wallpapered the back part of it using scraps from the wallpaper she used in the mezzanine that we'll visit later in this video. Amandine and Julien really liked the look of a beton ciré floor, but they chose the more affordable option, so they had a professional apply a self-leveling compound that they then painted with special paint for cement and concrete floors. About the bon coin, because I think it's it's amazing. It's like Craigslist. Like the, the bench is also from Le Bon Yeah. And like I do too, Amandine gets a lot of her finds from Le Bon Coin, which is similar to Craigslist. So this bench and this farmhouse table she found online just from a private seller. Et ça, je les ai trouvés dans une vente aux enchères à Bordeaux. Je les ai payés genre 12 euros le, le fauteuil. Incroyable. <laughs> Incroyable. 12 euros for those. And I think they, the, 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 the print makes the, yes. the thing. Ouais, ouais, it's incredible. Ils sont très beaux. Mm. It's the kind of find you don't look for, and then you bump into it and you go, that's exactly what I wanted. That, oh, the house is missing this one last thing. C'est vraiment une porte... This door was here? Yes. Oh, oui. oh, yes. And was it like this or was it painted? It was like this. Oh, yes. perfect. Because it's, it's so horrible to take the paint off. Mm. Yes. Nice. Mm. So now this is the living room and I, yes. I, I, I saw this floor and I'm, I'm in love with the floor. Yes. This was Antique here. Ties, yes. 
But is it two mats? But then two from mats here, French, because yes. they have lots of different. Yes. I've never seen them with these. Is it from the burning, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Des fois, quand ça cuit dans les fours, plus c'est proche des brûleurs, plus ça donne ça. Et là, elles sont posées à même le, le sable, quoi. Enfin, de, de, de la terre en dessous. Oui. De la terre. Et donc, euh, parfois, quand il y a vraiment des déluges qui pleut énormément, ça il y a remonte. un petit peu de, un petit peu d'humidité qui peut remonter. Mais voilà, encore une fois, ça respire. L'humidité s'en va, elle vient, elle s'en ouais. va. Elle, elle, elle va, elle vient, quoi. Et donc, c'est, c'est, ça reste sain. Julien's explaining how these traditional tiles were placed directly on the soil. This is an old building. It is probably over 400 years old. And traditionally, how they were built is very different from how we would build a house now. The house doesn't even have foundations. None of the maisons en pierre that you find in France, or basically none that I know of, have that. The walls are just built on the soil. And these floor tiles are put on the soil. So he's saying that when it's really heavy, heavy rainfall, sometimes there can be some humidity. But because the walls have been left with the stones exposed and not closed off with insulation materials that don't breathe or that don't allow the walls to breathe and and let go of the humidity that's building up inside of the walls, the air quality inside of the house is very good. So maybe if you're renovating a house in France or if you're thinking of maybe one day doing that, just keep in mind that when it's a en pierre home, that it has certain specifics that you don't want to mess with. So it's always best to check with a professional. I said Amandine has many pieces that were in her family. I was just in awe of these oil paintings. This, I believe, is her great-grandmother Anne. And she also has another painting, which was her great uncle. Is that what you say in English? So imagine these are actual people from her family. Alors là, il y a pas mal de choses qui viennent de la de ma famille, comme la table. C'était la table de jardin de mes grands-parents euh, dans leur maison de vacances en Bretagne. Donc voilà, pour moi, ça me Mais en que... Bretagne Oui, ils étaient Et quand en même, Bretagne. elle a survécu. Elle, elle a survécu à la Bretagne. Et elle a un beau côté patiné. Et voilà, ah, incroyable. Là. Donc ça me rappelle les Donc, vacances. Tu l'as pas elle était bon. comme ça Non, 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 je pas touché. Ah, oh, je l'ai un peu poncé quand même. Ah oui, tu l'as poncé. Ouais. Et donc, c'est du, du chêne, non Oui, ouais, je ouais, du chêne, ouais. je pense. Ouais. Pareil, là, la petite armoire, euh, c'était la... euh... chez mes parents. Ça, si tu regardais dedans, je n'ai pas touché. Mais dedans, j'aime bien ce qu'il y a du... La... Il y a de la toile de jouy. Toile de jouy. Si so Amandine was saying that table was in her grandparents' holiday home in Brittany in the garden. I can't imagine how that survived the weather in Brittany. And she also has this little cupboard that on the inside is covered with what is called toile de jouy. I just love how this house is filled with so many objects that have a history to them and a meaning to them personally.
On the first floor, which is half mezzanine, so open into the kitchen and living room, they have created the bedrooms. Amandine and Julien have their closed bedroom, and the children actually have a really cool space. This was one open space, and to give it more coziness and privacy, they had a carpenter build this cabin, this cabin where there's room for a double bed and also a little hidden space. It really feels like a children's hideaway, like a little cozy corner for yes. reading. Double bed here, down here, and then it has a little yes, real hideaway. <laughs> C'est un papier peint anglais de wood chip and magnolia. Et j'aimais beaucoup les tons de comme une forêt. Euh, je crois que ça faisait par exemple comme ça, petite cabine dans la forêt, petite cabane dans la forêt. C'est oui, oui, que c'est pas lisse. Oui. Et c'est ça qui me Magnifique. Fait. Ouais. ouais. Mmh. Aussi. Ouais, sur le bon coin, j'aimais bien. À Bordeaux, euh, pareil, pas cher. Je sais plus. Mmh. 30 euros. Ou... And here's another painting of Amandine's grandmother that was painted in 1918. That's a good idea. So she's saying this was a tablecloth yes. and she really liked the embroidery on it. You haven't touched it. You have just folded it to one side and kept it a bit long. Mm. And you haven't, hadn't, didn't have to do any... Any changes to it? That's a good idea. <laughs> voilà, c'est parfait. Donc là, il y avait des, des petites étagères. Donc là, on a fait un petit coin bureau. Voilà. C'est petit, mais c'est pratique. Ou ça peut faire coiffeuse pour se maquiller le matin. Là, les petites tables, elles, ça, c'est toujours... Moi, je repeins tous les meubles avec la peinture Libéron. Pour les oui. J'aime ouais. beaucoup leur peinture. Et ça, c'est pareil. C'est des trouvailles du bon coin, pas cher, que j'ai repeint. Ouais. Et ça, les petites tentes, je les ai trouvées justement dans la... Dans la brocante du village, là, la recyclerie du village Belu. Donc c'était des, c'était sur un lustre. En, en fait, ils vendaient ça. C'était sur un lustre. Et on a juste, voilà, créé le, ouais. la lampe avec un fil. Ça j'aime beaucoup. I like the, what's that called, the towel rack mm. thing. C'est en bambou. Je pense, oui. C'était vraiment typique. Il y avait ça dans toutes les salles de bain avant. C'est une table de chevet. Ouais, je pense un peu. Une table de Wow. It's not wow. a lot of things, you know, only painting and... Uh, but it furniture. shows how different the space is when you just do these tiny little things. Like if the bones are okay, mm -hmm. this is what I would always focus on. Buy a house that's not yes. falling apart. <laughs> and then you can do simple changes, like, like painting the tiles like you did in mm -hmm. the bathroom, and it changes the entire look. Exactly. And then Super. So blue, green. <laughs> what? Ouais. And outside. Donc là, il a construit la terrasse qui, va, qui mène à la piscine. Et tu vois, devant, tout était euh, assez euh, négligé, quoi. Oui. Pour faire français un peu sur la table. <rire> Moi, je vois pas. Hein. Non, 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 mais, ah, euh, d'accord, mais c'est pour, pour faire plus joli. Thank you so much Amandine and Julien for showing us around your beautiful home. If you want to learn more about how to book this holiday home for your holiday in the Charente near Bordeaux, 
you can check out their website. I have put the link in the description. And I also highly recommend you check out their Instagram account, which is so full of gorgeous images, it almost reads like a magazine. And if you've enjoyed this video, please do let us know what you've loved most about this gorgeous home. And then I will see you next week. Bye.